Let's welcome to another episode of Dev's Kingdom. This is Jacob. In today's tutorial, we're gonna show you how to build Llama Coder locally with Olama. So, because Llama Coder is very popular and right now it does not support Olama, it only supports together AI APIs. So, but in this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to build it with Olama for free. And that being said, let's get started. So, um, let's create a notebook called Llama Coder, Olama, Postgre, SQL. And then first, because we're going to install Olama and instead of using the Together AI. So first we're going to install uh, Olama with uh, first create a function called uh, rum. So this is going to run bash command within Python. And then we're going to install Olama. Just use this one line command to install Olama. And after that, make sure you set the uh, Olama local host to 0000 and also set Olama origin to everything. So then uh, Olama serve will store Olama in the backend. And next, uh, we're going to create a uh, model file to actually get a larger context window for Q1 2.5 coder 7b model. So uh, Q1 2.5 coder 7b is the model that we're going to test. And we want this to have a larger context window because uh, it is coder. And then we simply use Olama create using this model file to create this uh, new model, which is Q2.5 coder, actually context 7B. And after that, we check if the model exists. So this is Olama list. So this model exists. And also they also download the original Q2.5 uh, coder 7B model. And then after that, we just install Olama coder. So first do a git clone uh, for the official Llama Coder repo and then go to this folder and make sure that we uh, write the environment file. This is very important because Llama Coder is relying on PostgreSQL. So you do need to set up the PostgreSQL instance uh, in the uh, notebook. So we'll show that a little bit. But first set up the database URL with the PostgreSQL uh, username, Postgre, password, Postgre. You can set up whatever username password you want, but uh, we're gonna use this as a demo. And then the uh, host is localhost, and also the database is Llama Coder. And then we set up the CSP API key. So you need to get the CSP API key from the code sandbox console. So basically they're using code sandbox IO to uh, do the previewing. So, and so that's why you actually set, set up the CSP API key. After that, make sure you upgrade node using the npm cache clean and also do the npm install, you install node and use node stable. So this will actually upgrade the node within the notebook. After that, make sure you do npm install to install all the dependencies for uh, Llama Coder. Then do the npm install open AI uh, because we're going to use Llama uh, open, API, open AI compatible API. So we do need to in in install the open AI. And after that, we have to install PostgreSQL. So to do that in notebook, first we do install uh, PostgreSQL, PostgreSQL country, um, and make sure that's installed correctly. And then we check the PG clusters if they are online. So you can see that um, uh, basically they list everything to see if this is online. So um, because they're running right now, you can see this is actually running uh, right now. So let's refresh the page. So we actually cannot uh, run this again but uh, if you run this again this should show uh, online so instead of should, sh instead of the down it should show online so after that uh, basically we just start a PostgreSQL so and this is how we actually start a PostgreSQL on notebook then you can also do like uh, the status you can see the status is online and the usage uh, basically uh, can be start stop restart and basically you can just uh, just manage the PostgreSQL that way and also make sure that you set up the password. So uh, for Postgre, they don't have a password. So make sure you set a password uh, to Postgre uh, as this demo shows. So, and also because uh, we also need to uh, run the uh, database migration. So then you do need to uh, run the Prisma migrate dev. So this will migrate all the uh, DB schema for uh, Llama Coder to Postgre. So then after that, we do the uh, MPX Prisma Prisma generate, so they will generate the schemas. And after that, uh, most of the work should be done. But also, uh, you need to uh, update a couple of uh, files to make sure Llama Coder is using Llama, not the Together AI. So uh, first page, 
uh, the TypeScript file, you have to update this file. And then first, you have to basically uh, comment out the original Q2.5 coder. This is basically uh, for the Together AI. So basically, to download this model, uh, all these models from Together AI, including DeepSeek AI, DeepSeek V3. So, um, so comment that out. So instead, we use uh, the model that we installed in Llama, which is Kuvin 2.5 Coder 7B. You can choose different models. We just use this for demo purpose. And just set one model. Um, and that's it. So this is the only change you need for the page.tsx file. And the other file we have to change is the uh, action file. So there's actions, uh, which is to make it API calls. So you can actually uh, change the actions.ts, the TypeScript file. And to first do a uh, OpenAI initiation, so basically this URL is uh, the Olama URL, and also the API key just Olama. And after that, you use this client to make all the API calls instead of together API calls. And so for example, uh, this one we just coming out together API. Uh, instead, we use the uh, OpenAI, which is Olama uh, API compatible. Um, this uh, function to call. Uh, Q1 2.5 coder uh, 7b, the model we created earlier. So, but that's it. So, to show you the changes in detail, uh, we just opened the IDS Google. So, you can see the changes we've made to these two files. The first one is page, as we mentioned earlier, we comment out the models, and then instead, we use the actual models we installed in Olama, which is Q2.5 coder. Then, uh, other file is the actions. So, make sure you install OpenAI and also initiate OpenAI with the Olama URL. And after that, make sure that you change everything from the Together AI to Olama client. So that's it. So you can see all the changes were made. Oh, the second one uh, also made for the OpenAI, uh, the uh, Olama OpenAI compatible API. And after that, uh, we also make sure that uh, we coming out the code that's now needed. Like uh, we don't use Together AI, so you have to comment that out because they're gonna read the uh, Together API key. So you just want to comment that out and make sure that also update the last one. I believe that's the last one for the Together AI to the Olama uh, APS. So, uh, but that should be it. So this is how you actually set up um, Llama Coder on Kaggle with Olama and PostgreSQL for free. So you can test everything on your web and on your own free time. And lastly, install the Ungrok. So after you install Ungrok, uh, as we uh, mentioned many times in this channel, so just do an Ungrok install using pip, and also make sure um, you basically get an Ungrok token from Ungrok console and paste it here. And after that, make sure you connect your Ungrok public URL, which is 31DE to uh, 3000, uh, which is the local Node.js port. So this is the one uh, that we actually do the demo. You probably got a different one, but uh, let's just quickly go to this URL, refresh the page, you know that's running. So this earlier demo we actually uh, created for American historical quiz game. So you can see that's uh, running, so it's no fake. So it's actually running right now. So you can see that's running, right? So then um, this is uh, basically the progress they created. And also this is uh, running on the code sandbox. So, and we can just run a quick test to see um, if this is actually running uh, right now and how they work. So just say I want to create a flashcard app, right? And make sure we uh, only use the Kuhn 2.5. This is a model we created in Olama slash share DCN. So I select that. You can use high quality or low quality. Uh, we just use uh, high quality and then click enter. So basically it's coming up with project plan it may take 15 seconds. So it's going to run in the back end. So we'll show the progress in a little bit. You can see it's actually running. So basically, uh, it's going to take probably a few minutes. It's going to initiate a few things. So let's go back to it. Okay, it's start writing. So you can see that's actually running.
All right, so this is how you set up a uh, Llama coder on Kaggle with a Llama and PostgreSQL for free. So hopefully this is helpful. If you do like this video, please subscribe, like or comment if you have any questions. Um, thanks for supporting the channel. See you in the next one.